I love what Martin Luther says. Martin Luther says, if it happens for you to be a street sweeper, it's a sweep the street like Shakespeare writing a poetry, like Beethoven composing music, like Michelangelo painting pictures. It's a sweep it so well so that the host of heaven can pose and say they leave a great street sweeper. What I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you're not great now, but whatever that you do now, make sure that you inject excellency. For example, have you been to a, 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 a garage where you've seen a petrol attendant? You know, the energy, the energy that they give you, sometimes you wish as if you can be you know, a petrol attendant just for a moment. They've realized that. The other day, I took my daughter, who's eight years, went to a, to, to a mall. There was a lady who was sweeping the street with a rediment flare. My daughter looked at this lady. Actually, we looked at this lady. We gazed at this lady. As we were looking at this lady, my daughter looked straight to my eyes and said, Simpia said, what sweet? They said, when I grew up, I went to the street sweeper. I said, I am a man. Because the lady was sweeping the street so well that she made street sweeping a career for my daughter. What I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, is that you cannot be an architect of your own destiny if you don't excel. I love, there's a saying that says, when a butterfly flings its wings, it affects the den of flying. You see how small is a butterfly? When it does like this, it affects the weather pattern in India. What I'm trying to say is that the small things that you do, they have a direct impact to your destiny. The small decisions that you make, they have a direct impact to your destiny. You cannot be an architect architect of your destiny if you take granted for things that you do like now. For example, I, I have a younger brother or I have a friend. My younger brother was not performing very well. He was girl at school. He was not doing very well at school. And I, I went to him. I said, Chief, do you know that you are an architect of your own destiny? Do you know that you, you are designed for greatness? And he said, how? I said, what is your signature? What is your dream as, as a person? He said, my dream is to be a DJ. I said, good boy, my girl, good boy. It's a good boy. I said, good boy. I said, do you know for you to be a DJ, a world-class DJ, you must master mathematics? And he said, how does mathematics interlink with me being a DJ? I said, sometimes you're going to get an invitation to go and play in London. And in London, they're using a different set of currency. And for you to understand the exchange rates, you must master what? Mathematics. He said, serious. I said, yes, serious. I said, do you know that even Africans is interlinked to your highest values? He said, how does Africans interlink with my highest values, with my dream and my signature? And I said, do you know, before 1994, we used to judge people by the color of their skin. But after 1994, we judge people by the content of their character. You remember before 1994, when you see a black man running, he has stolen something. You remember, again? When you see an Indian running, there was a sale somewhere. You remember, again? When you see a colored man running, a pot store was about to be closed. You remember, again? And when you see a white man running, was joking for God's sake. You remember, again? again? Because people were defined by the color of their skin. You know, there's one thing that I like. I'm a closer speaking person. I know I say to people that, the beauty about closer speaking is that before we can accept anything, we deny it. You know that. Have you seen that? That, that before we can accept anything, we deny it. But I was saying to my, to, 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 to my friend that, look, you can always synchronize, you can always interlink your signature, your highest value is your dream with what you do on a daily basis. What I'm trying to say, sometimes you don't like what you do. Sometimes you don't enjoy what you do. But if you have a bigger picture, you'll always enjoy what you do. What happened to my friend? What happened to my brother? After two months, you know, he changed the way he viewed those subjects. Why? Because then he realized that the subjects that he's doing, they are interlinked to his highest values to his dreams. What I'm trying to say, have you realized that other people, people who don't, who don't know where they are going, they're always negative. Have you realized that? And people who don't know where they are going, you know, they don't appreciate anything about life. You know, you, you visit, they visit you on Sunday, Obafa, Obafa, Obafa Nama, Obafa Nama, Emonati, Ba complain or na, Kenale Nama fed. And then we give them the full chicken. This guy will say, now they've made me a pig, they give me a full chicken. They don't know what they want. You know, but I'm saying to you is that one of the key things that we need to do as interlinking our destiny or interlinking our future with our daily with our daily activities enjoy what you do enjoy life to the fullest and some of us we don't enjoy life to the fullest we look as if we we angels of misery we look as if we're carrying the whole way we, we don't enjoy life to the fullest why you don't enjoy life to the fullest because you don't understand that the future it's in your it's in your your, your own hand we don't understand that you are an architect of your own destiny let me share the old story. Some of you know this story. 